Hey guys, John Boy here, John Boy's Pro Wash. And as you guys know that may have been following, we are a wash channel. We used to do lawn and landscape, still do some, but last year I killed my yard out. I did a lawn renovation with GCI Turf Tall Fescue. Everything was brown as could be killed out and fescue come in looked amazing we got busy in may i didn't put any fungicide down and it went brown not everywhere but quite a few places so you can see like here here and just as we walk all the yellowy junk this Bermuda crept in so that fescue went dormant and or died out altogether and same time it did that the Bermuda started coming in so we get some rain it starts greening up a little bit I put my propaganazole down and you know, I'm like, okay, we're on the upswing of this. Yard starts turning green again, starts looking good. Uh, that's in June. July is super hot. August is super hot. I start looking. Dang. Looks like the yard's looking better. Then all of a sudden, it's like two days later, it doesn't. So... What had happened is we got so hot. Now we had record rain, but it would be all at one time and it just wasn't what we needed. Plus with this fescue, I needed the fungicide on it. See, look at that, all that Bermuda is dying out. Now we're fixing to overseed. I haven't scalped this, actually I hadn't even mowed this week. But all this, you can see all the brown and all the Bermuda trying to creep up. But all that was thick as can be. You can go back and look at some of the videos we've done. They look great. <coughs> but the fescue, I love it. But you got to baby it. If it don't have water, it has to have water. Well, just, just say this. It has to have water. It has to have water or it's going to die. So we get through June, July, August. And... Uh, about the 1st of August, we get really busy again. I didn't, the yard was looking good, and I, I thought, well, I can get by without putting propaganazole down again. It gets hot. I actually came out here and watered it some because we went two or three weeks without rain. And it's actually coming in now. But from here, that's where the kids get out on the side of the car and go up the sidewalk over behind where that first one is right here that's where my water meter is it was completely brown my kids thought that I had I mean this is well this is it right here my kids thought that I had put hay out because it was so dead but we were doing a bunch of washing and my water spigots there so i was there 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 back and forth back and forth and then the kids coming in and out right over here so between them coming in every day me running back and forth over here every bit of that died uh i, I mean it was hot uh it needed the fungicide on it but it really needed just to stay off of it and there's all kinds of crap trying to cr come back in it. Uh, I'm going to spray tenacity on it when we overseed, which I have all of that right now. And uh, but anyway, we had this big dogwood in the front yard, and it doesn't a uh, this big hole. I mean, the, the stunt may have been two foot round, you know, right here, two foot round. But he just dug out all around it to get all the roots. So. If you have a stump ground up, which there's still some junk in there, I'll have to sift through. Try to get all of that stuff out you can, because if not, 
if you just cover it in and then even if you fill it with dirt it's just going to keep sinking and sinking and sinking and we don't want that so i got all the good stuff out now before he came and chopped the uh stump up i dug around the whole thing and got all this goodness right here out of it all that's great dirt that was underneath the rock and everything we had but uh for anybody who just has a fescue yard first year second year uh guy i've been talking to a guy the last couple of days doing a renovation i can't even i don't even know the name of his channel uh that mr ferguson he's doing a uh he did a renovation and he put fescue down but anyway all, the, all these guys everybody but pete on uh facebook you know that or youtube that has fescue their fescue burn up and you know i'm i don't want to say i'm glad theirs did but i it made me feel like okay well i understand now when we cut that tree it dropped and i drug it over here with the tractor chopped it up over there but uh just wanted to give you guys an update this is what it looks like before uh our 2021 overseeding we're gonna be coming back with the same seed from Pete, GCI Turf Top Tall Fescue. Gonna spray Tenacity and try to get a hold of some of this Bermuda. And you know, and if the Bermuda comes in, it comes in, but I know I'll have the fescue, you know, on top of it. Next year, I'll definitely know when to quit mowing, as you know, when, when to stay off of it, when to water it, when to put the fungicides down. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. But I mean, as you can tell where I've been dumping the uh, cart today, I mean, we got, you know, pretty good yard. I mean, you look there, he's gonna overseed his, but there's definitely a difference between his and ours. And uh, that fescue is just really dark green. And so that's what we like. It stays green all year round. We're gonna have to rough up some of these bare patches. But yeah, I just wanna give you guys an update of what this looks like right now as of, I don't know what today is, October 2nd or 3rd, something like that. Um, we have more Bermuda than I would like, but that was my fault. So uh, I'm not gonna kill the whole yard off again. I will just fight with it because now it may be 10 or 15 percent maybe 20 percent bermuda instead of 80 percent so once i overseed go down with it overseed and that bermuda dies out uh my fescue should grow up and and, and be pretty good and if i have some bermuda i mean that's just gonna have be how it is so i uh, just want to give you guys an update on what it looks like and uh go from there uh here in Tennessee, the weather cooled down a few weeks ago, and uh, I said, well, heck, you know, it's about time to start overseeding, and so I ordered all my stuff, and then the next week it comes in, it's back up to 85 again, so we got a Green County Fertilizers, Green Pop, Green Punch, and then I have the seed for my yard and the few customers we put out so anyway that's my time for today and uh, we'll catch you next time